yes, we are in a cemetery. And while this cemetery has a considerable amount of spooky tales, that is not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is a walk through history. This is the Beaver Cemetery in Beaver, Pennsylvania. And even though I made a video some years ago about the town of Beaver and I drove through this actual cemetery, I feel that I didn't demonstrate the importance of this cemetery properly. Consequently, I'm doing that now in this video by showing you some of the famous people who are actually buried here. And we have a lot of categories here. We've got politicians, we've got doctors, we've got lawyers, we have writers, we have a lot of good military veterans that fought in famous battles. So let me start with that because the first grave I want to show you is a man who was in World War I. Now for those of you who don't know, I'm going to explain it very briefly because I don't have a lot of time. World War I was an absolutely bloody battle. Pennsylvania produced a lot of veterans for World War I, and consequently, sadly, a lot of them never returned home. They died on the European front. And one such individual is buried right over here. And since he happens to be on my first marker here during the course of this video, we're just going to stop and demonstrate his plaque here and pay homage to him. Killed in action, August 5th, 1918. And if you don't know much about World War I, you really need to study it. It's a fascinating, fascinating war to study. And a lot, a lot of men died in World War I. I'm not going to get into the semantics about it, but I'll let you figure it out. It's not the purpose of my video, but I just wanted to pay homage to this notable hero who lies here in southwestern Pennsylvania. Thank you for your sacrifice and your service. The first important grave I want to show you is right down in here. And for those of you who collect glass, this gentleman may be of some relevance to you. At least he should be. His name was Mr. Henry Fry. Henry Fry operated a glass factory in Rochester, Pennsylvania, and his glass is world-renowned. And this is his final resting place next to his wife here. He's also buried with his wife, Emma. And he has a beautiful eagle plaque that you can see here on his crypt. Uh, Mr. Fry, as I said, was a glass maker. A very, uh, not completely upend, but, and, and certainly not as ornate or as uh, lavish as, say, Rene Lalique, but his glass was known. His china, he made china, he made knickknacks and souvenirs and all kinds of things. And if you look on eBay, you will see that his glass can, certain pieces of it, depending on its size and its, you know, how it was made, can go for many thousands of dollars. And he was also a Civil War veteran. Here's his flag here. Forgive my shadow here. It's really sunny out here, guys. It's a beautiful fall afternoon here in this cemetery. As you can see, the sun is out in full bloom. The trees are beautiful. This is a really, really, really beautiful cemetery. Now, guys, I'm limited on time here, so I'm, forgive me if I'm talking rather fast, but there are so many things that I want to show you, and I can only do it in a few minutes. If you like this video and I get enough comments about it or whatever, I'm glad to make a second part of this. But just in this section where I'm at right now are the most significant graves that I want to show you for this video. So just bear with me. The next person I want to show you is Mr. Stanley Quay's grave. Now, Mr. Stanley Quay was a senator in Pennsylvania here, a Republican senator who also was a Civil War veteran. And his case is a little bit more unique in the sense that he received the Congressional Medal of Honor for bravery. Now, for those of you who may or may not, if you follow my Facebook page, I wrote an article about him. If you just type in Matthew Stanley Quay on my page, you might find the essay. You might dig it up. I wrote it a few years back, but this is his final resting place. Here's his wife. He was also friends with Mr. Rudyard Kipling. Mr. Rudyard Kipling, the famous writer, came to see Mr. Quay on several occasions here in his home in Beaver. Mr. Quay lived, or yes, Mr. Quay lived here in Beaver. And right back there is his family. I think that tallest thing that you see back here by the tree is his father. They're all entered here. Now, there's a, quite a few descendants of Quay that are strewn throughout the cemetery, but this is their 
primary location of final resting place. Mr. Quay was very well respected in this community and in the state of Pennsylvania. He was friends with Abraham Lincoln as well. He wrote letters in Latin. He was quite a scholar, a very dignified gentleman, highly educated, just like this gentleman here whom he knew. And for those of you who do not know, I will leave a link perhaps below this video. This is the final resting place of the commander of the 140th Pennsylvania Regiment that fought at Gettysburg. This is Colonel Richard P. Roberts' grave, who was killed at Gettysburg. I have a website dedicated in his memory. I'll leave a link below this video, and you can visit it and see the research that I have done on Mr. Roberts. I dedicated a whole website to him. I feel he's one of the most important and underlooked people in the community here in Beaver County, and I paid homage to him by uh, composing his own website in his honor. He orphaned his only daughter. He was a staunch abolitionist. And there are letters that survive of his telling about the war. You can see more information about it on his website that I created for him. Now, this one interesting grave down here is one of the biggest, I think the biggest, in this cemetery. And as you can see, some of these stones here are just unbelievable. There's so much money in this cemetery, guys, you just wouldn't believe it. I mean, if you just take a look around here, it's almost like it's so real. It reminds me of the cemetery in Paris where Jim Morrison is buried and Sarah Barnhart. Chopin, Oscar Wilde, those kinds of people. I mean, not everybody's above ground here, but a lot of people are. It's just that there's so many people that are buried here. There's so many fascinating graves, and I have not too much time in this video to demonstrate the significance of the cemetery, but I'm just making a brief video just to show you guys how much history is in this town. I've done a lot of research here. I've, I do a lot of writing here, and these are some of the reasons why. But if you look at this grave here, this is just extraordinary. Just look at this, guys. Look. It's got to be, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 feet. Maybe higher. I don't know. This is Mr. Lewis Taylor. He was a prominent attorney in Rochester, Pennsylvania. Mr. Taylor was an unmarried man at the time of his death. He was a bachelor, but he had a lot of money, obviously. And his friends decided that he should get a very big monument. For some reason, I don't know if it was ever disclosed in his will, but he left no money to charity or anything, and they used his entire fortune on this big, 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 beautiful tombstone. This camera doesn't do justice, guys. I'm telling you, it's so big and enormous, you, you, you can't imagine. But this is his final resting place. This is where he's buried. Just look at this. It's, it's unbelievable. There was the old, what you're seeing, that building there is where they used to lay people out and have their final uh, services in there. These are the older people who are buried here. This is the older part of the cemetery. I don't have a lot of time, guys. There's a couple more graves that I want to show you. This cemetery is very significant. If you like this video and you want to learn more about it, drop me in line and let me know. And I will make another video of this cemetery and show you more of the famous graves. But we're already almost 10 minutes into this video, and I really don't want to take up a lot of your time. So let me know what you think. I'm sorry I haven't made a video for a while. I've been busy doing other things. I've got writing and research and websites that I do. So please forgive my absence from YouTube. But I have been busy with fall festivities and well. This is my favorite time of the year. So let me know what you think of this video. And if you want to know more information and want to see more famous graves here, I'll gladly do that for you. And I'll film it and I'll elaborate about it and let you in on the discussion yourself. If you know any more than I haven't mentioned in this video that is worthy of mention, just drop a link down below this video, okay? And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.